I was having a conversation with my cousin a few days ago and I brought up the fact that I still need to finish school and her immediate reaction was, still? <laughs> Literally, I couldn't even be mad. Like I knew it was a genuine response. I've just had such a hard time balancing between working a nine to five, doing content full time, and then trying to throw school in the mix as well. But I just can't let school continue to be as far down on the totem pole as I have been placing it. But I'm gonna just bring y'all along with me for the week. I'm gonna have a little study vlog, some productive days, and I figured I would just go through and share some micro habits or like small things that I do in my day to day life to make life a little bit easier when I need to be more productive. But let's get to writing this essay. It's literally six in the morning. <laughs> But that's what we're gonna do. First things first, you want to tackle your priorities as early as you can before you can even give yourself the opportunity to be lazy. Just wake up and get to it. Sometimes my priority is... Okay, the bus is here. Sometimes my priority first thing in the morning is to clean up my room. Sometimes my priority is to do work, it's to edit. Sometimes my priority is to go to the gym. Whatever your top priority is for that day, make sure you have it set in mind the night before so you can just get to it. to freshen up a little bit but really my room right now five out of ten it's really not the worst it's ever been but it could definitely be better i failed to make up my bed this morning which always makes my room look five times messier my desk though not horrid my room is actually a hot mess on a daily basis but i just make sure that i take the time to at least tidy it pick my stuff up off the floor make my bed whatever i need to do to kind of de-junk my space declutter my mind unfortunately it is monday and i am on the clock so i don't have much time right now to do a deep clean but i'm gonna make it at least look a little bit more livable Now that that's done, it's time for breakfast. I'm gonna make a really quick little yogurt bowl and granola. put me on to adding cinnamon in my yogurt bowls and at first I was like girl what I didn't think it sounded right but I'm telling y'all it's 
it's so good and it just adds a little extra bit of like sweetness and a little i don't know how to describe it but just try it anyway i need to go ahead and get back to work for a little bit been trying my best to get all of my tasks my to do's all of my priorities knocked out during the workday so that I can actually chill and relax and have nothing to do in my afternoons I probably still will have to do a little bit of work when I get off today because I did not finish writing that paper this morning but it is what it is I think I'm gonna take an hour for my lunch break and then get back to regularly scheduled programming. But I got things to do. It's so much to be your boyfriend. So much. And you ain't making this much. I swear to y'all, I was just thinking that I wished this came in a big bottle, but they do make a big bottle. Be your best friend. You see me blowing up. Don't act like I'm average. Target has the goodies today. I think the flat plates are so cute, but I don't love that the bowl looks like a dog bowl. No? Like, oh no. How cute is this freaking keyboard? I was kind of getting a little bit sick of this gray and white one. My job actually gave this one to me and it came with the mouse, but I don't know where the mouse is. And I keep having to like type and then put my hands back up on the trackpad. And it just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. And I thought this pink would be so much cuter too because it matches my laptop for work so i got this new keyboard it's really such a love hate that these are the kinds of things that motivate me but i feel like it's similar to with like gym clothes when i get new gym clothes i want to work out i feel more encouraged to like do it because it's cute i don't know hey i know i'm gonna want to do my work a little bit more just because i got a cute new keyboard I also need to get some adapters that aren't so big and like, I don't know, hanging off the sides like this. Like this is just not <laughs> a vibe. But let's see if this bad boy will work. Keyboard setup assistant, period. <laughs> I'm so excited y'all. This is so cute. I used to, I didn't used to hate pink growing up, but my sister's favorite color was pink. So I just felt like I could not like pink. Hey, it's been growing on me. morning y'all it's kind of warm i'm not gonna lie i feel like we're in those couple of weeks before summer where the weather is actually like tolerable but there's oddly a lot of people outside today i don't know if there's like events or something going on it seems like there is but regardless i managed to submit an essay last night so i'm just gonna go stop and chill at a little coffee shop of course and try to write another paper at least get it drafted up and then maybe submit a quiz 
It's 1.30 right now and this coffee shop closes at 4. So I'm just going to sit for the next two and a half hours and see how much work I can get done today. They have this cute little, it was literally called the cute drink. It's a strawberry matcha. So let's see. I know everybody is so obsessed with matcha right now. I think I like the strawberry. I don't know if I love the matcha. Matcha just tastes like earth to me. I like to give my friends a rose. Curse of the talented everywhere I go. They want to change clothes and pose. But my wife be in my dreams, bruh. No, I couldn't see it. I saw her silhouette. I know I can take away. But when I wake up, I don't know. G is hot. Y'all, my gaslight stays on every freaking other day, I swear. But that little coffee shop was super cute. I've actually never been there before, but I think I'm gonna have to start, ooh, please don't hit my car. I think I'm gonna have to start going back there more often because it was super chill. There wasn't like a lot of people in there. The employees were cool. Like, I usually feel like when I go to work at coffee shops in the middle of the week, they're always like so packed. But I just have a quick little like tangent rant. I don't know if I need a vent session. This is why I can't wait to start my podcast because I know that like this topic I could probably talk about for a full episode and I know that there's other people that can relate to what I'm about to say. I must admit that this Mother's Day was the first Mother's Day for me that I actually felt jealous i felt a little bit sad just that like i feel like i'm further away from motherhood than i would like to be right now like growing up it was always ideal for me to be like a young mom i never necessarily wanted to be a teen mom but i did want to be done having my kids by the time i was 30 and now it's looking like i might not even have my first one until i'm in my 30s at the rate i'm moving but I'm just like not in a good space, I feel like. Like a good space in my life to really start dating. Like I'm just genuinely, my outlook on love, relationships, marriage, all of those things right now are just not great. And I know that I couldn't give to a partner in a way that they or even I myself would deserve right now. So, it's hard because it's like I'm on a timeline I want to have kids before I'm 30 but I'm not really ready to date but I need to date somebody in order to have kids like ugh, I don't know but I know I'm not the only one
That was probably the most spontaneous hanging out I've been able to do in a long time. Kayla just so happened to be downtown getting her hair done. So we decided to go get some food. We went to Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory in Old Sac. We got some ice cream, we went to Sephora. And I made it back home and showered before 9 p.m. Submitted a quiz today and got my rough draft ready for my second essay. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good today. I've been trying to do a better job at writing in my winds jar. For those of you that are new here, I made this little winds jar at the beginning of the year with the goal in mind of just like writing down my wins or like my favorite memories from the week every week. And then I also have some money in here for savings, but it was just like when I got to the end of 2023, I was doing some like reflecting and I felt like it was so easy for me to remember like the bad stuff. It was so easy for me to remember like traumatic experiences and stuff but a lot of the good little things kind of just went to the back of my mind and I forgot about them if I didn't write them down. I was doing it pretty consistently in the first like three months of the year but I want to say April and May I don't know I'll like maybe do it every other week or every three weeks I'll go back and like try to remember but it kind of doesn't work the same because like once three weeks has passed I kind of already forgot like what you know <laughs> what my win was from three weeks ago so i even cut up all of these little like pink pieces of paper for myself so that i can just pull some out and write it down whenever i remember so bright right here i have this folder on my instagram saves full of workouts that i literally never follow but i've been trying to get back into the habit of like actually having a plan before i go into the gym because i don't know why i've been acting like i haven't known this for so long but it's just really not efficient in terms of my time or in terms of my muscle growth when I go in there and I'm just doing whatever is available, whatever comes to mind. I'm like wasting time in between workouts, trying to figure out what's next and like, I don't know. Muscle memory is really a real thing. So when you train your muscles to do the same thing over time and just like increase the weight, that's the best way to actually see progress. But that is not what I have been doing. So today's workout is going to be inspired by none other than Strong Papusa. If y'all know, y'all know. She's a bad bitch. She's not afraid of like growing big muscles and intimidating these men and like personally i'm not gonna lie to y'all i stopped training my back and my upper body for like a couple of months straight because i was afraid that i was gonna be too ripped but i'm trying to grow out of that thought process so we're gonna hit a good little back day today I still 
still have this little shot that I got at Press Juicery a couple weeks ago. I think I've had it for like two weeks now and I just haven't like, I don't know. I just be feeling like I need a reason to take it, but I don't. So I'm gonna try this out. This one is coconut water, turmeric, lemon, and black pepper. Yeah. It's actually not bad at all. Would I buy it again? I don't know, but definitely not as nasty as some other shots I've taken. A random little update on my flowers from last week. <laughs> Clearly that whole cutting the tulips underwater and all that stuff did me no justice. They lasted actually not very long at all. I'm drowning in a little freshen up on this hair. today i honestly do not have a whole lot on my itinerary for the day i thought i was gonna go sit outside for a little bit maybe read maybe start working on my paper again but it is literally 90 degrees today and i honestly think i'm stalling because i don't feel like writing a paper again right now but i think i'm gonna go tackle a couple of my little priorities for the day just to get it out of the way I've been obsessed with these little dunks that my friend got me for Christmas. They're like the perfect little color to wear with any freaking outfit. me going to the car wash literally like two or three weeks ago in one of my vlogs and explaining why I'm always paranoid about having an accident in the car wash why did I pull up today and there's literally some cars pulled off to the side because they had a freaking accident in the car wash like the police literally just pulled up it doesn't look like their cars are damaged too badly but apparently this is a common thing so if y'all's little car wash people or whatever keep telling you to pull forward and pull forward when you see the car in front of you like it'd be awkward sometimes to like not move forward when they're asking you to but i'm also not about to have a car accident because y'all don't know how much space to leave in between the cars Okay, we're gonna make a quick little snack. I have had these shrimp pot stickers before from Trader Joe's, but I didn't really like i don't know i wish that i had cooked them harder or made them crispier and then i think i also needed like a better sauce than what i had so i also got this sweet chili sauce and i'm hoping that this will do the trick i don't know if i need maybe like a thicker type of dipping sauce or i don't know like they're good but they were just 
missing something, you know? I don't really know what other kind of sauce I could use besides soy sauce, maybe? But I don't really want that either. So maybe I'll just throw it over some rice and call it a day. I did it y'all. I got my second paper done. So we submitted two papers and two quizzes in the last two days. And this is why my mom is ready to chop my head off about school. Cause like, I literally could have been dead. Basically the way my program is set up is that each class consists of four quizzes, four essays, and a final. But I still have six, I don't know, either six or seven classes to go plus like a research class and then a comprehensive exam. So I don't know, when I think about the amount of essays and quizzes I have to do in total, it just overwhelms me and it's a self-paced program. So not having deadlines just like makes it so easy for me to put it at the bottom of my list of priorities. But I refuse to allow myself to take more than three years on a program that is meant to be done in two and probably could have been done in one. <laughs> so y'all will likely be getting more schoolgirl study essay writing content out of me in the next couple of months so we can get done with this freaking master's program. But I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I hope you got some good takeaways, some good productivity tips or habits that you can incorporate into your own daily routines. I hope you got some motivation for anybody that is in school. Maybe not because it's May and a lot of people are on break right now. But <laughs> regardless, I love y'all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.